So this is all I had of that muffin, that part. I don't think there's enough calories. And I think I really love muffin top. There's one muffin top. Um, what are my friends that's can I eat? Can I eat like two apple pies or two McDonald's apple pies or two ice cream cones or two hot pockets? Yeah, I can. I'm going to try. <laughs> I, I can. I know. Um, I'm a little bit sick. I have like a, a stomach bug. And uh, when I take my antibiotic, I throw my food throw it comes up. I'm not anorexic. I'm, I'm chubby, you know, big girl, heavy girl. And uh, but I have lost weight because I do the water pills and stuff. But um, uh, I'm um, going to have a little, I'm going to eat normal amount of food or a lot of, or extra amount of food, like overeat because um, I don't think I have COVID. But it could be a reaction. It could be a reaction from something, or, um, or I just caught a stomach bug or something like that. Because I've been home, so, or you know, like a stomach bug, or like a bacteria infection or something like that. <laughs> so yeah, so <laughs> since it's gonna come up anyway, I'm gonna try to eat these and then if I could practice eating a lot I can do those um full mukbang like where you they eat a lot but I'm not you know <laughs> they eat a lot oh, like uh, Eric on balance I could drink a lot I could drink a lot too so we're gonna try to eat a lot and drink a lot which is a little scary for me because I have Melody that criticizes everything I say and Eddie, that you know, says that I haven't changed sizes, and they make you all nervous inside and sick to your stomach, and they, uh, uh, like you don't have an eating disorder, and you're and you're doing well in life, but they make you so frightened. You know what I mean? They make you so frightened, like you, you pee your pants or you throw up or your stomach gets all in knots. That's how they make me feel terrified because of all the bullying the torture the torment that they caused me there's so much more to the stories than what i've even said there it just goes way back way back and uh you know maybe as it comes i'll talk about different things but the reason why i don't i want to be a mukbanger but the reason why i don't go and just attack a bunch of a lot of food well, my stomach gets really upset and I throw it, I throw it up, but if I hold it down, um, Eddie and Melody are so cruel. And if you gain a pound or two, they attack you as if you gained a hundred pounds, you know, or if you lose 30 pounds of it, they don't, they don't even notice. They don't even say you, you did a good job, you know, and, uh, <laughs> they think my ex, uh, broke up with me because a year ago I'm more than yeah they think that because I thought it was because they made me feel so bad about myself so horrible um because Melly's always dieting or talking about weight she's obsessed with weight and my weight and she's very cruel and uh Eddie's very obsessed but he doesn't really know what she looks like I think they email each other yeah it's all angles it's weird you know it, it's just a weird relationship. If they see each other, it's just, you know, she'll lie and say she lost, like maybe they'll see each other and then she'll lie and say she lost a lot of weight after, but she didn't. She maybe lost five pounds, you know, in a year or two. It's just, the lies never end, <laughs> you know. So, since <sighs> there's such stalkers and I'm going to keep premiering because I like doing my playlist of, I do my play playlist and do a premiere. And why should I stop doing premieres? Just because Eddie and, and Melody are hateful to me. And another thing. I share. Uh, 
uh, Melody was saying I'm sharing Eddie's videos being a creeper or being obsessed or a stalker. No, they're the stalkers. And I put, I'm proofing because she's been lying and saying that I dislike her channel and everyone's channel. And she called it a feud. So I went along with it, the word feud to get her off my back last couple of years. And now she's on, you know, on my back, but, um, it wasn't a few. She, she clearly did the nasty and wrong things. And I, you know, and when I would show proof of it, she would even go harder and have her friends come attack. And one of her friends, Kevin passed away. Like the people she sends have bad luck. You don't want to do that to a witch. You know what I mean? She sends people to attack me and they end up, you know, having heart attacks or strokes or, you know, passing away or getting very ill or, or bad luck, losing their fortune. You know, she uses people to do her bidding. How many times has Candy said that? How many times, you know, we've had a lot of people. And then, yeah, she'll be your friend and she won't be your friend. I, you know, all that in and out shit is just, ugh. You know what I mean? And even if I had an eating disorder, it's none of her business. She doesn't help me with anything. You know, so. Because <sighs> I used to kind of think I had one or I don't know. I, I have a lot of narcissists in my life uh, at the time, especially those two. Oh, yeah. Any friendship or anything, they like to break up all my friends or all anyone. They make up and she makes up lies and it's just ugh, sick. But. But, um, yeah, I've been wanting to, to, uh, my friend Ray inspired me to do like a, cause he's a little shy with eating and camera, but I'm not shy with that. I, I'm shy, I'm real shy with friendships and stuff. I'm really shy at first but sometimes, but my friend Ray, um, well, what that was all about is she was friends with Ray first and then she didn't like me being friends and. We were going to, you know, we were going out and he was my boyfriend. My husband and I were separated. We were going, we were never going to, we hated each other. We were separated at the time. I didn't do nothing wrong. This was years ago. Three, four years, you know, years back. And we've only been, my husband and I have only been together the last few months. About a year, less than a year. You know what I mean? The last few months. But, um, uh, anyway... But what Melody likes to do is, if I have love in my life, she plans her attack to destroy me. She has from day one, there's something about me that she doesn't like. <sighs> me being personable, rapport, my success. Um, yeah, she's always gotten way less views and, uh, you know, and feel insecure about me. So... I have a lot of friends now, I'm popular, and she says the craziest things that are just, they're such lies that now my friends are just laughing at her because they're just stupid. They're, you know, the lies are so stupid. But anyway, my friend Ray, we, yeah, we were uh, boyfriend and girlfriend years ago, and uh, we were going to get married. Yeah, you know, we were going on a long time. We we're, you know, um, going out a long time and uh, Melanie wanted to come and destroy our our uh, I want to say friendship or relationship you know she wanted to destroy it so she was you know attacking me pretty attacking going to him and attacking attacking us all i did was you know i just would put i love you like you know how melody always puts you know how eddie always puts i love you so much melody and just he's i love you so much eddie but apparently she's the only one that could do that to her for her boyfriend or fiance but i can't for my fiance or boyfriend or you know person i'm engaged to because at one time me and ray we were talking marriage and i was going to fly him out you know, I lived in a mansion. My dad was wealthy. My dad knew about Ray. Uh, that was a little secret. <laughs> he knew about Ray. And um, 
We are going to fly him out, surprise him, make all his dreams and wealth and riches come true. You know, um, he's only able to have like hamburgers or waffle, like certain foods that he feels really sad about and he wants to have expensive things. And I was going to fly, uh, honest to God, I wasn't lying about it. Because we tickets aren't that, I mean, my dad really had money. Um, you know, I can't do it now because, uh, I wasn't left the money. You know what I mean? My, the inheritance went to, uh, be split up and into businesses. It's into the businesses. I wish I had, you know, a million dollars in my hand, but I just don't. If I had the money, I would have flown Ray out. But my dad was going to pay for it because he was alive at the time. We're going to fly him out and surprise him. And I wanted to buy him just a few new clothes. Like, just some, I'm not going crazy, you know. Well, first I wanted to get him a ring. Then I wanted to get him a, a little bracelet, like a few bracelets, and make him some too. And I was going to get him, I wanted to get him like a silk shirt at Brontano. I don't, it's only like $64. I'm, I'm not talking I'm going to spend like 10 or $20 million on him. But like maybe... I was going to spend 30000 or 40000 on him. Because that's the kind of money, you know. And I wanted to uh, go swimming every day with him in the pool. And uh, help, uh, he's better at walking than I am. So he maybe he can help me walk the mountains. You know, the mountains. Because I lived in a wholly different area than now. And uh, I didn't smoke or drink. And so, you know, I kept up my, support, you know, kept not smoke or drink. And yeah, we were in love. And, and uh, I was going to, uh, I wanted to surprise him and give him the greatest wealth we've ever had. Because he says he likes women and money, pretty women and money. Whether you think that's superficial or not, that's not one to judge. But yeah, so I would look cute. I would dress up for him in the videos. Uh, he got me inspired to make my first little video with my little uh, bikini bottoms and top, you know, my my uh, my uh, bathing suit videos. Because I was really shy, but I, I made it for him. But I was really shy, like super shy back then. But yeah, Melody uh, came between us and kind of try to destroy our friendship and, you know, uh, make us argue and fight and, and uh, lose out, lose out, you know. <clears throat> so, broke us, like just kind of ruined our relationship where I felt like it wasn't worth it, you know, to fight her to have a relationship. It was too stressful. And then my dad was very sick and yeah, we couldn't fly him out, but we wanted to fly him out. And then I know he really loves Adrian. He has like a little crush on my friend Adrian. You know, Adrian Slace is a half sisters with B loves. And uh, I wanted, because she said she wanted to come to our mansion. And so I wanted to try to surprise and arrange. I mean, it seems lofty, but if you have the money, you can think. I wanted to arrange her to come. And I wanted to treat them to a crab feast because he said he never really had a crab feast his whole life. I've had plenty. Like, I wanted to get Curtis the crab. And I don't know, I was studying. Like, I, I, I knew what I was doing, but it just, my dad passed away and I didn't, I didn't have any money and I couldn't, yeah. So I was all alone after. And yeah, but um, let me start another video and I'll eat. But he encouraged me to, to do eating because... Sometimes I don't eat enough food or I get real sick to my stomach because of mostly Melody and Eddie make me feel uh, frightened. Okay, I'll be back.